Hey everybody and welcome back to Amanda Marie s &P. I am on my way into clinical for the day. I am doing women's health clinical rotation. So I anticipate getting to do quite a bit today. I have been going into the rooms independently and doing baseline assessments, measuring bundle height and things of that nature. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in. If I can record anything during the day, I will. And I will give you a recap at the end of the day. Hey everybody, so just finished up my clinical day today, Women's Health Clinical, and it was another really awesome day full of really good experiences. So I try to take a couple of notes so I knew exactly what I wanted to share with you guys today. So let's jump in the car and we will chit chat. Okay, everybody, so one of the really cool things that I got to do today, I've been able to do previously, but I just always kind of think that it is pretty interesting. I got to do another bimanual pelvic exam today. So basically you just insert one finger into the vagina and then you place one hand on the lower portion of the abdomen and you're just palpating. You're attempting to see if you can palpate both of the ovaries and you're applying some gentle pressure to the uterus and the bladder area just to make sure that nothing is tender. Um, and so yeah, that's interesting as far as um, trying to palpate those kinds of things when you've never done it before. So it's a really good experience as a nurse practitioner student to be able to get as much of that as possible as far as experience goes, if it's something that you're interested in doing. And women's health is definitely something that I'm very interested in doing. So I'll be excited to see where I actually end up. So another experience that I got in my NP clinical rotation today was I got to be a part of another surgery. So go in and observe, which was really, really awesome. So this particular surgery, the woman was having just some really excruciating lower abdominal pain and it was very non-specific. She's never had any uh, pelvic surgeries or anything to that effect so they were going in to just do an exploratory laparotomy and then um, they did know that there was just a simple what they called a three millimeter simple cyst on the right ovary so the doctor had did several things they couldn't find anything else wrong um, tons of testing blood work just the whole entire workup and couldn't find anything else so they decided to go ahead and go in and do this exploratory just the laparotomy and once they got in she did find some adhesions so adhesions from the um basically the fatty covering of tissue that surrounds the intestine, the bowel, the that whole area, which just cushions and protects the inside there in the organ. So she did find some adhesions there, which she went ahead and released those adhesions. And she said, typically you only see that kind of thing once a person has had pelvic surgeries, um, which this woman never had, or an infection. And she did not have an active current infection, although she did additional find some blood in the pelvic cavity. There was no active bleeding, so she went ahead and irrigated. She released the adhesions that were present, and then she went ahead and drained the cyst that was on top of the right ovary. She did have consent signed to remove the right ovary in case we got in and, and there was some need to do that. However, um, the woman's long-term goal is to try to conceive another child, and thankfully, Granted, you can do that with one ovary, but thankfully the doctor didn't see a need to remove the ovary. So the surgery went really well. She came out of anesthesia really well, and it was just a great experience and awesome as a nurse practitioner student to be able to be yet again part of another observation in the OR. So that setting is, is definitely something that intrigues me as well. Another experience I got my nurse practitioner clinical today was I went in to do just the basic beginning assessment, um, feel palpate for the thyroid, heart, lungs, check for swelling, nausea, vomiting, uh, bowel and bladder working okay, any pain, any changes since your last annual exam, that kind of thing. And one thing she mentioned to me is that she had a skin tag that she wanted to have the doctor removed um, just where her uh, the lining of the underwear are. It was rubbing and really starting to bother her. So I went ahead and it was on the same patient that we did that I was able to do the bimanual on. And um, once we started assessing and we got out the light and were looking, it actually ended up being a genital wart instead of a skin tag. 
So the patient said she had never noted any type of warts before in the general area. So as it unfolds, she had that one, which the doctor did use a 1% lidocaine with no epi and numbed the area and took the surgical scissors and removed. And then she used some silver nitri nitrate um, and cauterized the area. It, it bled pretty good. Um, she thought at one point maybe she was going to have to put in a suture, but she didn't. Um, so yeah, and she also additionally had another genital wart, more the superior, um, like almost uh, superior vulva region um, as well, but that one wasn't bothering her as far as getting in the way of anything, and it was quite tender. So the doctor went ahead and left that one there. Um, so then of course there was the education piece that genital warts is just a virus and they will come and go on their own. Typically there is no need to remove them. However, they can be removed if they're bothersome to the patient. So that was a couple of the things I experienced in my family nurse practitioner women's health clinical rotation today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join my online tribe and yeah, just become an NP with me. I'm just an average Jane doing my thing and I would love for you to come along. Additionally, don't forget to pick up the free printable of all of the family nurse practitioner FYIs that I think that you need to know about. All right, I will see you my friend in the next one.